Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you the uh, Battle of the Undefeateds as the Shawnee Mission North Indians take on the Blue Valley Tigers. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Shawnee Mission North. Hi, I'm Tristan and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm John and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Ollie and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Jason and I'm a senior. And our competitors from Blue Valley. Hi, I'm James and I'm a senior. I'm Awesome and I'm a senior. I'm Luke and I'm a sophomore. I'm Calvin, I'm a senior. I'm Luke and I'm a junior. Fantastic. Here on categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team responds incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by Blue Valley. So Tigers, here is the first category. It is U.S. Geography. Which of the following cities is not located within the American manufacturing belt? Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Detroit, Atlanta. James. Atlanta. Atlanta, correct. Indians, general knowledge is your category. What mineral did James Wilson Marshall find in 1848 at Sutter's Mill in present-day Sacramento? John. Uh, gold? He did find gold, very good. Back to you, Tigers, for vocabulary. Give me the single English word which, as a verb, means to box with the fists, and as a noun, means a mast or a boom. James. Jab. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Indians, chance to steal this vocabulary category. Give me the, that single English word which, as a verb, means to box with the fists, and as a noun, means a mast or a boom. Andrew. Andrew? Spar. Spar is correct. North, you do get the next category. It is poetry. What is the name of Walt Whitman's 2,000-line poem celebrating himself and the world? Time on that. Tiger's chance to steal this poetry category. What is the name of Walt Whitman's 2,000-line poem celebrating himself and the world? Luke. Song of Myself. Song of Myself. Tigers, you do get the next category. It is science. Used in lifting heavy, heavy loads, this type of press utilizes a liquid medium to magnify the force applied to one piston and transfer this force to a larger piston. Name it. Awesome. Hydraulic press. Hydraulic press, very good. Shawnee Mission North, another science question, this time physics. If stress is applied to a material and slowly increased, the material changes shape. After a certain point, it will not recover its original shape. What is this point called? Time on that. Tiger's chance to steal this physics question. If stress is applied to a material and slowly increased, the material changes shape. After a certain point, it will not recover its original shape. What is this point called? Awesome. The breaking point. I'm sorry, it's not the breaking point. It's the elastic limit. Elastic limit. Tigers, you do get the next category. It is geometry. What two-word name for the plane surface formed by cutting a solid, such as a boat, a planet, a cat, or a cathedral at right angles to its longest axis? Calvin. Cross section. Cross section, very good. Indians, back to you with geography. What is the term given to countries that do not have ocean access? Tristan? Landlocked. Landlocked, very good. Tigers, history is your category. What British naturalist and what American president were both born on February 12th, 1809? Awesome. 
Um, Darwin and Lincoln. Those are the two. Very good. Sean, Mr. North, back to you with sports. What would the umpire's ruling be if a line drive should strike the first base bag and bounce into the stands? John? Foul? I'm sorry, I cannot accept foul. Tigers, chance to steal this sports category. What would the umpire's ruling be if the line drive should strike the first base bag and bounce into the stands? Luke Coe. Fair. A fair ball. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. We're looking for ground rule double. A ground rule double would be ruled on that case. Blue Valley, you do get the next category. It is current events. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu retained his position in Israel's recent election, but his party lost 11 seats in Israel's parliament. By what name is Israel's parliament known? Indians, chance to steal this current events category. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu retained his position in Israel's recent election, but his party lost 11 seats in Israel's parliament. By what name is Israel's parliament known? Ollie? Duma? It's not the Duma, it's the Knesset. The Knesset. Sean Mr. North, you do get the next category. It is U.S. government this time. President Eisenhower asked Congress in 1958 to create what civilian agency for the, for the scientific exploration of space? Tristan? NASA. It is NASA. Art is your category, Tigers. In 1930, Nan Wood Graham posed for her brother, who painted a picture which had become very much the symbol of American ideal of no-nonsense personal industrialness. What is the name of the painting she posed? Calvin? The American Gothic. American Gothic, very good. Indians, back to you with world history. A fortified Moorish palace called the Alhambra was built on a hill in the 13th and 14th century in what nation? Spain. Andrew, it is Spain. Back to you, Tigers, with the U.S. History President's question. Give the first name of the father and mother of President John F. Kennedy. Awesome. Uh, Joseph and Mary Kennedy. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this U.S. history president's question. Give the first names of the father and mother of President John F. Kennedy. It is Joe, or Joseph, mother's name was Rose, Rose Kennedy. Indians, back to you with a science and medicine question. In slang, they're called downers. In everyday parlance, they're called sleeping pills. What are they called technically? Tristan? Tranquilizers. I cannot accept tranquilizers. Tigers, chance to steal this science medicine question. In slang, in slang, they're called downers. In everyday parlance, they're called sleeping pills. What are they called technically? Luke? Sopaphorex. I cannot accept that either. We're looking for barbiturates. Barbiturates. Tigers, we are, you do get the next category. It is literature. Name the best-selling novel about, of westward expansion by James Michener about a development of a community in Colorado. Time on that. Indian, same question to you for literature. Name the best-selling novel of westward expansion by James Michener about the development of a community in Colorado. Centennial. Centennial is what we're looking for. North, you do get the next question. It is world history. The settlers on Pitcairn Island, a British possession in the South Pacific Ocean, moved to Australia territorial island of Norfolk in 1856. Who are these settlers descended from? Tristan? Prisoners. 
Can I accept prisoners? Tigers, chance to steal this world history question. The settlers on Pitcairn Island, a British possession in the South Pacific Ocean, moved to the Australian territorial island of Norfolk in 1856. Who are these settlers descended from? James. Aborigines. Can I accept that? We're looking for the, uh, the, the mutineers from the ship, the Bounty. The Bounty. We're going back to you, Blue Valley, with a vocabulary question. This word ends in F-Y and means to prove to be true. Luke, go. Verify. Verify is what we're looking for. Very good. General knowledge, back to you, Shawnee Mission North. In the three most common methods in the United States, the three most common methods in the United States are HTST, batch, and ultra high temperature. What is this process of food preservation used for eggs, cheese, beer, and milk? Pasteurization. Ali, it is pasteurization. Very good. Blue Valley, you have the next question. Music terminology. It is multiple choice. In music theory, in music theory is a smooth, connected style of playing called, is it mestoso, legato, staccato, or pizzicato? Luke Cup. Legato. Legato. Very good. Sean Mission North, U.S. History. His statement known as the Freeport Doctrine won him a seat in the United States Senate, but lost him the presidency. Name this statesman. Time on that. Back to you, Tigers. U.S. History is the category. His statement known as the Freeport Doctrine won him a seat in the United States Senate, but lost him the presidency. Name this statesman. Awesome. Stephen Douglas. Stephen Douglas, right on the money. Blue Valley, back to you with an economics question. What two inventors have the most companies on the New York Stock Exchange named after them? Awesome. Tesla and Edison. Sorry, cannot accept that. North, chance to steal this economics question. What two inventors have the most companies on the New York Stock Exchange named after them? Andrew. Edison and Ford. One of them is Edison, the other one is Bell. No points awarded on that one. Indians, back to you with a current events question. Broadway, Broadway's longest running musical this is Broadway's longest running musical, and it just recently celebrated its 25th anniversary. What musical am I talking about? Phantom of the Opera. I'm sorry, I cannot award a point on that one. Back chance for you to steal Blue Valley with a current events question. Broadway's longest running musical, and it just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Name the musical. James. Cats. It is not Cats, it is Phantom of the Opera. Oh my God. Gentlemen, that's why it's important to make sure that I, you wait until I call on you, okay? Uh, we are going back to Blue Valley for the next question, and the category is Shakespearean English. What's the commotion referred to by the second witch in Macbeth? Luke? Uh, Macduff. I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this Shakespearean English category. What's the commotion referred to by the second witch in Macbeth? Tristan. Uh, the, the horses of Macbeth and Macduff. I cannot, I cannot accept that either. We're just looking for the simple description of Hurley Burley. Hurley Burley. As we go into our halftime, we do have a slight lead by Blue Valley of score of nine to Shawnee Mission North six. This time in our program, we're going to go to a campus update from you know, a member of each squad. And it looks like, Ollie, you're given the update for the Indians. So what's happening at Shawnee Mission North? All right, at Shawnee Mission North, uh, the girls basketball team just won the Lewisburg Tour uh, Tournament. At Academic Decathlon, we scored fourth overall, second in the Super Score, or in the Super uh, Quiz, excuse me. And one of our teammates got number one. One of our bowlers scored uh, a perfect game. Our ROTC team got first for all the in all the regional competition. And one of our uh, members got first in academics. Oh, fantastic. 
Well-rounded. All right, back over to you, Blue Valley. James, what is happening with the Tigers? Uh, we're back to school today after our power went out yesterday during a strong storm, but we have a lot of exciting things happening. Next week, our music uh, community will be putting on our musical, which is Music Man, so that should be exciting. Uh, also, our categories team will be competing for the regular season championship today, and that same team will compete in Scholars Bowl Regionals tomorrow. And we're having a lot of success in our athletics as well as our basketball. Both basketball teams are having good seasons looking towards the future, and our bowling team is also doing well. Outstanding. Good stuff happening at both schools. As we head into the second round here on categories, it is going to be the lightning round. Uh, before we start with the regular questions, we are going to go to our look and listen question to start the round. It is a two-point question, and members uh, of both teams here in the studio can watch a monitor and listen through the speakers uh, to get the clue to answer this look and listen question question first team to ring in will get the first chance at it so here we go both teams view this portrait by the artist John Copley and provide the name of its patriotic subject Tristan Paul Revere it is Paul Revere. Very good. Two points to Shawnee Mission North. As we head into the rest of the lightning round, a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So both teams, here we go. Hands on the buzzers. The first question for the second round is science. It is a multiple choice. Strong emotions are usually accompanied by an increased blood supply to muscles of the limbs, sensory organs, cere cerebrum, Medulla or intestinal tract? Luke. Oh, uh, the limbs. The limbs, very good. Geography for both teams. Which state, United States, has the longest boundary with Canada? James. Montana. Sorry, that's incorrect. Indians, chance to steal this geography question. Which U.S. state has the longest boundary with Canada? Jason. Alaska. It is Alaska. U.S. history, both teams. A very famous document in our history begins with this quote. Whereas on the 22nd day of September, in the year of our Lord, 1,862, a proclamation was issued by the President of the United States. Calvin. The Emancipation Proclamation. That's what we're looking for. Very good. General knowledge for both teams. What do we call someone who has the persistent neurotic conviction that he or she is likely to become ill? Calvin. It's, it's not a neuropathic. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this general knowledge question. What do we call someone who has the persistent neurotic conviction that he or she is likely to become ill? Tristan. Hypochondria. Hypochondria and hypochondriac, we can accept both. Both teams, grammar is the next question. The word since is used as what part of speech in the following sentence? Life has not been the same since his demise. Luke, go. A preposition. It is a preposition. Very good. <laughs> Music composers for both teams. The answer for this actually starts with the letter S. Which Italian composer was erroneous, ac erroneously accused of poisoning Mozart? The answer we're looking for is Salieri. Salieri. Both teams, U.S. government is the category. Which cabinet department contains the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Secret Service, and the Coast Guard? Calvin. Department of the Interior. Cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal. Department of Treasury. Sorry, that too is incorrect. It's Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security. Both teams, sports is the next category. One event in the Winter Olympics is like shuffleboard on ice. Calvin. Curling. Curling. Very good. <laughs> Cultural arts, fine arts is the next category. It's multiple choice. What art form is Africa particularly noted for? Wood carving, basket weaving, painting, or architecture? Oh, Tristan. Wood carving. It is wood carving. Literature for both teams. Hawthorne's Hester Prynne 
is only one in a long line of literary adulterers. Name the 19th century Russian novel featuring this theme. Tristan. Anna Karenina. We'll accept it, very good. Geography for both teams. What country is immediately south of the region where Kazakhstan, Siberia, and Mongolia practically meet? James. China. China, very good. Another world geography question, this time focusing on resources. One Canadian province produces more maple syrup annually than is produced, James. Quebec. Quebec. Science, chemistry is the next question. Bronsted defined it as a proton donor. Lewis as an electron paradox. Tristan. Acid. Acid is what we're looking for, very good. Literature for the both teams. Name the 18th century English bookseller and publisher of the first books for children. John Newberry. Newberry is what we're looking for. Vocabulary for both teams. Multiple choice. Does rankle mean the same as ulcerate, fester, hurt, or irritate? Tristan. Irritate. Irritate is correct. We have a tight score. Blue Valley 15, Shawnee Mission North 14. U.S. history for both teams. In 1917, President Woodrow Wilson wanted all able-bodied men available for war work. As a result, what White House workers were replaced by sheep? Lawnmowers. I'm sorry, Andrew? Lawnmowers. Yes. General knowledge for both teams. This dessert sounds like a celebration. It is prepared with cherries, sugar, Calvin? Cherry's Jubilee. Cherry's Jubilee, very good. TV media is the next ca category, and it starts with a quote. So many people have come up to me and said, your image is so much nicer now. And I'm saying to myself, can you believe it? All I do is fire people every week. James? Donald Trump. It is Donald Trump. Sports for both teams. Who was the first football coach, college football coach, to win the Rose, Orange, Cotton and sugar bowls. John. Bill Snyder. It's not Bill Snyder. Tigers, chance to steal this a sports question. Who was the first college football coach to win the Rose, Orange, Cotton, and Sugar Bowls? Awesome. Bear Bryant. It is not Bear Bryant. It's Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno. Another current events question for both teams. More than 230 people were recently killed in a tragic nightclub fire in what country? James. Brazil. Brazil. So military history for both teams. The British general at the Battle of Bunker Hill. He was the, gen the British general at the Battle of Bunker Hill. He later defeated George Washington at Brandywine. Who was he? General Andrew. Boyne. I'm sorry, Andrew. General Burgoyne. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Andrew, I need to remind you to be, please be called on before you respond. Tigers, you have a chance to steal this military history question. The British general at the Battle of Bunker Hill, he later defeated George Washington at Brandywine. Who was he? Awesome. Cornwallis. It wasn't Cornwallis, it was General Howe. Howe. Geography for both teams, not including Florida and California. What six states in order would you pass through on a direct trip from Pensacola to Los Angeles? James. Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. Perfect order, nice job. Both teams, next category is science. Radioactivity is accompanied by the emission of mass and sometimes energy from a, the nucleus. Name any two of the three basic... Awesome. Alpha and beta. Mm -hmm. The third one being gamma. Yeah. Nice job. World languages for both teams. The people of Wales speak both English and Welsh. Which belongs to the group... Uh, which belongs to that group of languages? Hint, think of a basketball team. Awesome. Celtic. Celtic. Oh. History expeditions for both teams. Identify the only American to accompany Robert Perry when the expedition is thought to have reached 
the North Pole. James. Ross. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this history expeditions question. Name the only American to accompany Robert Perry when, he, when the expedition is thought to have reached the North Pole. Name was Matthew Henson. Matthew Henson. Both, ca uh, both teams, the next uh, uh, category is sports, specifically racing. Land speed records are set at what site in Utah? Jason. The Salt Flats. Salt Flats. Flats. We'll accept it. Music. <laughs> instruments for both teams. Music for which of these instruments would be written on the treble clef? Is it the cello, the bass, the tuba, the violin, or... B Ollie? The violin. The violin. Very good. Next category is geography. If you went on a European vacation and wanted to drive from Paris to Orléans, in what general direction would you be driving? Tristan. South. South is correct. Science, minerals is the next category. Identify the metal commonly extracted from the min the metal commonly extracted from the mineral malachite. Tristan. Iron. I'm sorry, iron is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this science minerals question. Identify the metal commonly extracted from the mineral malachite. Luke? Zinc. It's not zinc, it's copper. Copper. Math is the next category for both teams. Find the derivative of, we'll finish the question. Find the derivative of 13x cubed plus 11x squared plus 5x plus 4. Luke Coe. 39x squared plus 22x plus 5. Nailed it. Nice job. And with that additional point, you have uh, widened your gap a little bit here at the end of the game. Blue Valley has a score of 23. Shawnee Mission North, 17. Congratulations to Blue Valley on their undefeated season and regular, regular season championship. Please join us again next time here on Categories as we'll bring you another great competition with the brightest high school minds all throughout Johnson County.